Hi doll fam, welcome back to my channel. Remember that my channel is not for kids and this is solely for the adult collectors or for the adults who want to buy these toys for their kids. All right everyone, this is a very highly requested and exciting video. Right now I have my dolls on a Lazy Susan and basically this whole entire video, I'm gonna show you how I accessorize my Rainbow High, how I plan out their hair and basically show you what I put on them, how I style them, and, and go into every detail of what they are wearing so you can maybe style them the same way. Maybe you can get some ideas from me and I can like show y'all some things. Yeah, so that's what this video is. This is highly requested. A couple of people have mentioned that they have wanted this. So you know what? I'm gonna give this to y'all. This is my first video of February. Let's go big. We're gonna go through all the characters in Rainbow High and I'm gonna show you all the ones that I have and I'm gonna go through them in rainbow order. So let's start with first wave Ruby. So right now my Ruby, I kept changing her hair a lot. So here she is. So here's Ruby, she has her original trucker hat. Her hair was in little twists that I did by hand, but they came out so I just brushed it out. This is what the twist looked like. It was really cute around her whole hair, but I just brushed it out because it also looks good like this. It's a gorgeous color, of course. Ruby's always gonna snatch us. Right now, I have these two top pieces for from the Avery Fashion Studio. I love this top, but I literally had to sew it in the middle so it, it looked right. Now it looks right, but it didn't uh, first. Of course, she is wearing her pants from her original outfit. Right now, she has these shoes because the other one stole the cool fiery boots and I can't wait for y'all to see her. If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw her, but y'all get ready. So she is wearing these shoes for now, which do match and they do look really cute. This jacket is a Ken doll jacket, which I rolled up the sleeves in here so it could fit her right. And it's kind of like an oversized jacket and it just throws the whole look together. And I love all the red and the different colors and hues of red she just looks great and amazing and how i style my rainbow high personally i try to go by their color and i try not to go too far off from their colors that's just me y'all can do whatever you want but i admire how everyone styles their dolls all right next we have a practically perfect doll and this is tear ruby i have done nothing to her except for adding these beads it came with the tingle the animated series rapunzel doll from the Disney store and she had this weird ponytail that was kind of in bundles and wrapped around those ponytails were these beads and I decided to add this because it reminded me of Sailor Moon. I think Sailor Venus had those beads so I was like oh I want to put this on Ruby and it's red so it matches her. Other than that I didn't change anything because she's perfect. So next up we have my second cheer Ruby. So I'm basically getting two of every single cheer doll because I want to be able to change them and make them look different for different photo shoots and still be able to keep one in the original cheer outfit. Here is this cheer Ruby. So she is from my Chicago inspired self love photo shoot for Valentine's Day and she just looks so sexy. Like she is gorgeous. I love her. I originally took her hair down but I put it back up in the ponytail just to clean it up a bit and it's essentially the same. Her hair is better than my other Ruby's hair because I brushed it out too much. But if you don't brush it out, you keep a lot of the crimps and it's it's gorgeous. This bow is from the J Cheer doll, so I gave it to her for this particular look. Probably gonna change her again into something more red or maybe not because I really like this outfit. This choker is from Hot Couture on Etsy. They have a store and they were selling this with an outfit, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, you could get these chokers. And it's a really nice material. It has a buckle on the back. And it, it's very nice. She has Big Wigs earrings from the LOL doll. She did not have earring holes. How did I do that? This comb is so multifunctional and I use this for so many things. This is my savior when it comes to doll hair and I've had this for such a long time and it's so sturdy. So if you can get a rat tail comb with a metal tail, oh my goodness, the wonders it will do for you when fixing doll hair or even giving your dolls piercings. So you literally, I literally just insert this in her ear. You need to be very careful. So like if you're a child, get adult supervision because you could stab yourself with this and it would hurt a lot. So you stab it 
and then I just twist it a bit to get that to get the hole wider or to make it like hot I don't know but after you twist it a while it's just easy for the earrings to pop in it's a little bit difficult but with patience you can do anything so that's how I did that. For her outfit, this dress is Alt Girls from the LOL OMG dolls. It's really short. It's very, it's very edgy, but I love it so much. It's such a nice material and it fits your rainbow high really well if you're trying to go for that look. These sleeves are also from Hot Couture and they're so nice and they add a lot to the outfit because I'm always wondering what do I put on their arms if I don't want to put a bracelet or something. You can just add a sleeve and it it's very very nice then for her heels slash boots these are from ferocious's from the lol omg remix four pack and they are so nice so i paired that with her boots and it just makes it look like a big old long boot with fiery flames at the bottom so that is the aesthetic i was going for with that so that was the aesthetic i was trying to go with that with the long boot next up is miss kaya hart which I haven't changed her yet. I do have an outfit that I might change her for, the Valentine's photo shoot, and she looks stunning. I love Kaya. Her hair, what I did was I didn't wash it out because I didn't want to lose that curl and I didn't want to recurl it. So I just broke down the curls that she originally came with to create more curls, and she just looks stunning. It's beautiful and gorgeous. There's not much added to her that, that didn't come with her except for this is Ruby's little shirt and this is a purse from a Barbie doll from the Care Bear fashion pack. Other than that, oh and this is from Ever After High. I'm pretty sure Rosabella's bow as you can see the little flower on there. Um, other than that, the rest, is her, the rest of the stuff is hers and I think she's one of the most perfect Rainbow High dolls because her outfit pieces are amazing. Y'all better move because the next one is Miss Stella Monroe. Oh my goodness, y'all. This doll, I don't like the color pink. Rainbow High, like I've said before, has made me like it. And Stella is literally one of my favorite dolls. So I had to snatch her for this Chicago-inspired fashion look. Okay, so what I did with her, I gave her a high pony, and she already had these two pieces of her hair separated, so I just made them into twists. And you can just self-curl these twists yourself with your fingers, and it will stay for the most part. It, this side keeps uncurling for some reason, but this is how it would look like curled. So for her look, I gave her golden hoop earrings. These were Camp Cuties from the LOL OMG Winter Chill doll line. And yep, I pierced her ears too. I gave her this sleigh necklace from, what's her name, Lady Diva from the original LOL OMG. Then I gave her this from the Fame Queen LOL OMG four pack. This is such a nice top. I'm probably gonna put this on Skylar eventually. These shorts are from Chillax's undergarments from the I Think series two of the OMG basic dolls. This robe and glasses are from Kitty K from the LOL OMG Remix. They fit pretty well. This one's kind of a tight snug and this piece is very delicate so be careful with it. I'm pretty sure some of the seams are already pulling so be very careful with that. These tights, oh my goodness, these are from the Monster High Donna the Dance Frankie doll and these tights are incredible. They fit Rainbow High so well. They're very stretchy and I have a couple of Monster High tights like this so i have three pairs in different colors and they fit really well they're such a nice material they look really good on the doll and yeah it's incredible and i kept her original shoes i think from her second outfit yep and that's it for miss stella monroe let's move on to the next one all right y'all the next one is miss bella parker her hair is kind of looking like a mess right now but i'm gonna Y'all are getting a sneak peek right now because I haven't even taken a picture for the photo shoot. I'm closer to Valentine's Day or on actual Valentine's Day. I am going to be having a couples photo shoot with Jella and um, Skylar and River. So this is going to be her outfit and I'm going to show you how I picked it out and what I put on her. So let's get on with that. First off, her hair, what did I do with this hair? So for her hair, I straw curled it. And for those of you that don't know, you can put straws in her hair with bobby pins and put her in boiling hot water and you can get these curls. 
it's a pretty nice way to get curls. I don't love this look on every single Rainbow High doll, so I'm not gonna do this for all of them, but um, I think for a one photo shoot with Miss Bella, it will look good. And it does. I really, really do like it. Then I tried to do a swoop de doo up here. I'm gonna fix this for the photo shoot. It looks it looked good when I first did it, but it's slowly coming undone because I did not rubber band it at all. So then she has these headphones which connect to her Walkman, which are from Pop BB from the LOL OMG remix. She has this jacket, which is from Barbie, and it fits her very, very well. And it came from one of the fashion packs. Then we have the Heartbreaker hoodie, which did have pink drawstrings, which is why I wanted to put it on Miss Bella, because it matched her. Then this skirt is from the Bratz Reboot, which are Chloe's. It's Chloe's skirt from the Reboot. But I don't remember that set. It was the Chloe with the headphones that had it, with the pig headphones. I forgot what it was called, but she had this skirt and it fits her. It's a little bit tight, but it works. I kept her original leggings and she has these roller skates, which are from Monster High Ultimate School Ultimate Roller Maze. And these are operata shoes. I was gonna paint them. I'm not the best painter. But I was gonna, I wanted to make this pink, this purple part pink so it matched her more. But you know, it kind of works because her eyes are purple. And I'm still keeping her mainly pink, so it's, I'm not veering off from it too much. So that was my thought process with that one. All right, for the next one, we have my first wave poppy, which is ready for the photo shoot. I decided to put her in the photo shoot because she has a matte face. I got lucky with getting a variant and my poppy has a matte face. She doesn't have that face shine that the other dolls have, which I prefer the matte faces. So I'm actually very happy that she has that. The hairstyle that I did, I did a while back, but I just put her hair in a pony, did two braids that go in the back. And I took out her butterflies that were right here up front. And you need to be very careful if you're gonna do that because it will break very easily and it's very difficult to pull out. Pull out and I just put them in the rubber band in her hair. Very easy. So she is a DJ, so I gave her DJ earrings, of course, to match her aesthetic. These are for Rochus's armbands from the LOL OMG Remix 2 pack. This is a Barbie choker. This is a Monster High Costa Fierce little latexy with poofy orange sleeves that I put on her for her Halloween look and I wanted to use it again for this particular look. Then for her top and bottoms, these are DJ 24 karat DJs, undergarments from LOL OMG, and these are really cute and I thought it kind of fit her aesthetic and it matches the gold armband, the gold earrings, so it kind of goes together. They had a white fishnet, which I cut, so if you look very closely, you can see it. I tried to cut it as close as I could to the seam, but I don't think in pictures it will look bad. She, I gave her these fishnets, which are from Zombie Gaga's from Monster High. And of course, they fit well. They're so stretchy. They can really fit the Rainbow High body really, really well. And then I gave her the cheer shoes, which are gorgeous, of course, with the cutout. You can see the fishnet in there. It's a beautiful look that I created, if I do say so myself. Now we have my Poppy cheer. Um, she's not wearing any shoes because sh she took them. But, um, I'll show you what I did with her. So for her hair, a lot of the cheer dolls, there's three cheer dolls that have the exact same hairstyle. Jade, Poppy, and Skylar have the exact same hairstyle. So I was like, I need to do something different with these dolls' hair. This is what I came up with. So I put her hair in a ponytail, left two twists on the side, and I gave her bangs. I did not know how this was going to turn out. These are very campy bangs. They're not your typical you know, perfectly symmetrical straight bang. This is kind of a disaster, but I love it so much. They're very like 90s, early 2000s type of bangs, and I love them so much. So I gave this one 24 karat DJ's headphones because she's a DJ and she's gonna need her headphones. Then for those of you that watch my live stream, when I opened the LOL boy dolls, I got this 
little sash. I haven't pinned this to make it a necklace, but it would look really cute as little like scarf. This jacket, it's from the Bratz Reboot and they came with her study abroad, one of her second outfits, I'm pretty sure. This is from a wine bottle. This was holding the tag as I think this wine bottle was gifted to my mom. So I took this sash. Other than that, She's pretty much the same. She is on a Monster High stand, as you can tell. Moving on to Sunny. She's not wearing shoes either because another Sunny stole her shoes. Here is my Sunny. So I kept her hair the same because it's very Sailor Moon inspired. And of course, I love Sailor Moon. So I had to keep her hair the same. These glasses are from Neonlicious. I don't know. It's from the LOL OMG Light Series, one of the girls had these on and they're yellow and I was like oh Sunny's gonna Sunny's gonna snatch that up because she needs that so for her outfit it's very intricate this one is a lot but it's gorgeous so this jacket is from the creatable world one of the fashion packs like the rainy day fashion pack I mainly got that set for Skylar there's a cute shirt that she can wear but I didn't realize that this could fit Sunny and it did and it looks so cute and it's such a vibrant bright yellow that it she stands out on my shelf so so much because her dollar just incredible she has a barbie necklace she has skylar's little short sleeve turtleneck white tee she has her second outfit's crop top this belt is from uh, an elena avalor disney doll right here these are a barbie ken bmr 1959 pants and it's crazy that it fit her and they're kind of oversized and high-waisted but that's kind of like the style that's going on right now and I love them so much they're also very very vibrant and the trim on this jacket match the same trim on the bottom so it's like it goes together and the shoes she was wearing were the ones from her second outfit but I used that for a different sunny which we will get to in a bit next we have my cheer sunny which there's not that much different with her she's practically the same she just has this cute little necklace bow choker and that's pretty much it so yeah she's essentially a perfect doll so that's why i didn't want to change much from her let's move on to the next one here we have my first tier sunny that one was my second tier sunny so with this sunny she is also a part of that photo shoot and this look is very intricate and has a lot going on so i gave her just a basic high pony i kept her bangs and i put one of the cheer bows that she came with on her this right here is a belt for ferocious and it looks good like as a headband that dangles on her face and it adds movement and it's gorgeous i'm pretty sure these are queen bees earrings from the lol omg and they're gorgeous ginormous extra hoops that are beautiful i also gave her queen bees choker this was really scary to put on because this is a plastic piece and it could snap at any second but it fit her and i love it so much and i also gave her the jacket this top is from punk girls from the lol omg remix 2 pack and it fit her really well it's so gorgeous on her then i also gave her queen bees bodysuit the bodysuit wasn't fitting so I just tucked it in and now I made some like oversized panties that look really nice. And I gave her Queen Bee's belt. So Queen Bee is essentially not wearing anything right now but it really fits Sunny. These are also Queen Bee's socks and these are Sunny's second outfit shoes from her original doll. So yeah, she's fully decked out. I pierced her ears and I did all that and she looks absolutely stunning. All right, let me change out these dolls and let's move on to our second set of dolls. We're almost halfway done, I think. All right, I'll see y'all in a bit. Oh my goodness. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below if you're gonna take any of my advice and do stuff with your dolls. Send me pictures on Instagram. Let me know which doll was your favorite that I have that I have styled. Yeah, and if you want to give me any tips, I will gladly take them. Anyways, I hope y'all have an excellent day, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!